flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry Smoo. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And check this out. Let me talk to y'all, man. Let me talk to y'all, man. <laughs> Let me talk to y'all for a few seconds. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, check this out, right? This is what y'all need to know. When we on the internet surfing and shit like that, you got to be very careful because there's a such thing there's a such thing called limited hangout and what is limited hangout limited hangout is when the government or certain politicians release certain information on certain platforms and certain websites in order for truth seekers or people who's looking for truth to find purposely right now within these documents or within these footages or within these uploads you know what i'm saying they find ways of how to maneuver to come and present themselves as 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 if they was you you see what I'm saying? So here's where you get the concept of un uh, undercover cop, agents, government agents. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, this is how people get caught up. Because an agent or an undercover cop, could, they persuasion game could be so good that this is how you end up with a motherfucking Rico case or some shit like that. Or this is how you allow the social, um, the social engineers and the global strategists they utilize you as an example of how to come to people like you to convince people whatever that they need to convince them of so they can continue doing what they're doing in the shadows. You see what I'm saying? So, when we talk about the internet right now, right? Don't think whatever you're finding on the internet is something new and you discovered it. Like, I, I, I just need everybody to know that. Is You got to be very careful because it's not about the words and it's a it's not about the words and what's being said. It's about how something is being said. And the vibration behind it will take you through the, the the frequency. And the frequency is always a number or a sign or a sigil. And it doesn't matter what character or what face, whether they look like you or they look like Donald Trump or they look like the average person or they look like people in jail. If they ride in a certain frequency vibration, then they're riding that for a reason because frequencies get developed based upon desires. So once you're riding a certain frequency, you have a this is how you can tell if it's a liar around you. Right? Now, you might have your mama, but your mama might be the biggest liar in the world, but you might not be able to tell cuz she raised you. But you probably got other people in your family always coming to tell you your mama is a liar. And it takes you to get older, so you start to understand vibrations yourself. So you start to be like, oh, it ain't what was said, it was how it was said. So my mama probably was rocking me to sleep one way, but how she was saying it was in a vibration of a, a long line of motherfuckers who rock people to sleep. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, she could have been telling you I'm not lying, but the way she's telling you I'm not lying is in a very vibrational way of, uh, of people who utilize tongue and native tongue and vibrations to manifest things here. So this is why I even broke down gematria and shit like that. Because people don't truly understand. When you start to see a lot of these numbers and shit like that that they're throwing out, they're speaking in codes. So when you see numbers equ uh, equate to three, equate to six, or equate to uh, nine, this is them trying to ascend. So when you hear things equate to nine, that's something being exalted or some type of wisdom or knowledge that, th that their plan um, is successful. If you see something equate to six, that's government taking action because six is in between realms. It's bringing, it's bringing shit from the seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension into purgatory, the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, where that's the world of light, hell, imagination, thought forms, feelings, and emotions that everybody in the one, two, and third dimension could t uh, take from that. And bring it down here in some way, shape, or form. So the joining of two energies to create another energy. That's what six is, right? It creates orbs. It creates that that when a spirit gets stuck in light, it starts to create its own space. So it separates from the seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension in its own space. But it had to create a light in existence. A woman or a man, Adam and Eve, to go in to represent that state of awareness, to represent that state of being, then that automatically bring you down because your spirit is much heavier now. It has an image to focus on. And now the more that image get paid attention to, you could be the face of that goddamn image and receive manifestations or potential or celebrity or or popularity or governmental status or things of that nature when you bring that idea into the third dimension through your individuality your one your ability to relate it your two and within your surroundings your three and that's you becoming whole anyway with your masculine and feminine because three is your wholeness you're the sum of you you see what i'm saying so like that's why i be breaking shit down so when you hear donald trump say certain things but they're kicking out certain numbers that's the frequency they riding so whatever that they saying the hell with the fuck they saying it's the frequency that they writing and a lot of times these frequencies 
frequencies that be riding is, is up to no motherfucking good. Because when we talk about exaltations and shit like that, after the fact, they start to utilize numbers like five, numbers like 11, numbers like seven. And then these are for people like you. You know what I'm saying? Therefore, that's, that's letting you know you're getting governed after the fact. So when they give numbers that come to the sum of five, eight, 11 and shit like that, this is what they're getting ready to do to you. And anytime they equivalent numbers to three, six, nines, they, they get ready to talk about the people who's in position, the stars that's in position that's getting ready to do shit with you. So you need to keep that in mind also. It's always a frequency vibration. And it's a deeper way of talking about this because there's a lot of different ways. You know what I'm saying? Because you got the Jewish way. Well, really, those are just programs. But it's just the way itself. Once you understand one through nine and zero is your spirit, your space, your perimeter, then you'll start to understand how Jews try to utilize that. And, and that's why everybody who's in religion right now is rocked to sleep with some type of um, ancient mysticism. You know what I'm saying? So they are possessed. They, they don't think they're possessed, but religious people are possessed with some type of ancient mysticism that a spell that was cast on them. So any anybody who religious right now, you a long line of that family. Uh, no matter what denomination you in, uh, you 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 are the first spirit that got what that witchcraft was practiced on. So know that too. So I don't I don't even want to hear nobody, especially you Christians, you theologians and apologetics and Calvinists and shit like that. Talk about oh no, you can't be this, that, and that. You your your spirit is the first example of a spirit getting you getting witchcraft used on it. So that that's why you think the way you think. But for the most part, other than that, and that's why you can learn Gematria from your Jewish Bible or your books or your Catholic, but you don't know how the government is using it against you. That's why you don't got no power. So we're in a new time. It's time to actually wake up now. You see what I'm saying? That's why they always put the dates of these months. Jan January 1st was the beginning of their new world order. The new world order been here. You know what I'm saying? The moment y'all started utilizing money, y'all, and it was back to supported by the shit that they killed people for and shed their blood for, you was in a new world order. So for the most part, when we start to talk about uh, January, that's one. February, that's two. March, that's three. And then they equivalent to something also. So you'll start to see them add on to certain shit. So when you hear them say shit like March 27th and shit like that, you know, seven is nine. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, 27th, 27, that's nine, right? March, that's three. You know what I'm saying? So when you got nine and three, that's 12. So a lot of things is going to equivalent to three itself. You know what I'm saying? Once you start to talk about Fox News and them trying to play God, they're trying to make COVID, uh, COVID Lord, because when you, uh, Lord and Jamachia, uh, Corona is in it. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? I, I can do that for y'all right now. I can do that for y'all right now on my phone. Check this out. Um, check this out. G Gematria calculator. Now, when you look for the number for Lord, we're going to go to the Gematria calculator. So y'all know what the fuck is going on. This is the Gematria calculator right here. Why the fuck it keep going down? Gematria calculator right here. Now, when you type in Lord... This will this the number that Lord equate to. Lord equates to 249. So when you when you when you go down, right? You gonna you gonna find oh shut on shit, let me go back. Let me just show y'all real quick. How they use numbers to equate to letters. And this is how they speak in codes. This is this is how they speak in codes. Let me go down on this real quick. Please stop popping up other shit. Please. Damn. I don't even feel like going down this whole motherfucking list. Hold on, let me let me pause it real quick. All right, I got it. Now, like I said, when you travel, Lord, you'll start to see the certain numbers, and then it allow you to go to another number. And then once you start to go down the line of line of sentences that they use, that's correlated to um three or six or nine. This this what pops up. Y'all see that? 
I don't know if it's backwards or not. So go on, go on Jamachia, go on Jamachia calculator on Google, right? Then type in three six nine, and then go down the list. Go down the list, and you'll find Corona. You see what I'm saying? Uh, for the for the English, for the Jewish, should it be two two four, which uh, that's eight. So you're gonna hear them. You're gonna hear them utilize eight a lot too. So you're gonna hear them utilize eight. You're gonna hear them utilize eight. The three six nines. And what is it? And, and, um, and, and 13. I mean, not 13, 12. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, what the fuck messaging me? And 12. So uh, keep that in mind. That's the that's the Corona codes. The, cor the Corona codes that they're trying to make your God. Because this is what you need to understand, right? This is what religious people don't understand. Spirit is a parameter. Now... The reason a, a, a God love to be called, that's a spirit, that's a demon that want to maintain a position like Saturn and shit like that. A spirit that's in the body of Saturn and shit. So if y'all got a God, because teamwork makes the dreamer, because always going to be space within space, spirit within spirit. So if y'all got a God, that's the reason we got a government right now. So it's like that in the spirit realm. So you need to know you gave that spirit power and authority so that spirit can go through experience more than you. And be expanded more than you. And have more awareness than you. So religious people and all you people. Y'all really not aware of what's going on. This is why they are able to go to sleep good at night. Because when we think about the concept of God. That's just a spirit. That likes to be worshipped. In some way shape or form. Where you think about government. Or from spiritual natures. So here's the thing right. When we're utilizing. When we're creating substances as a spirit. Right. We utilize 369. That's And that's the first before it gets manifested into light rays and waters and plasma all the way down to the material realm, atoms and eaves, into your blood cells and shit like that. Now, if I'm starting to spook a lot of y'all out, especially y'all religious people, this is why you're religious. You're just indoctrinated with their shit and you're not going to know anything in your life. See what I'm saying? Now, here's the thing. When we're talking about a spirit needing to maintain a position to be bigger than other spirits, other spaces and shit like that. This is becoming more aware of your creations, learning that you are the creator, not the creations. What is a creation? The first form of energy is a thought form and a feeling. The moment a spirit, a space become aware of the thought form and feeling they received and output it, the moment this spirit becomes wise or becomes demonic, descend or ascend. Wise, nine, descend, six, three, one. Now, here's the thing, right? When a spirit has mastered that concept, right? It has no choice by default to be an example for other spirits with smaller lights to, fall, to follow that in a direction, right? It's, it's a psyche. It's, it's just the way the world works. So they're utilizing God sub substance, a.k.a. this is how we become gods, Elohims. We create lights. We use light to create. So anything. Now, it's based upon intent. That's why I be telling y'all, it's not, it's not what you pray for. So when you don't think you're praying to something outside of you as far as the universe and God, which there is spirits now outside of you because there is spirits that was here before you. You wouldn't be in this lowest realm of reality right now if that wasn't the case. But that's another video because I don't want y'all to get lost in y'all Christianity type shit and all that kind of shit. Now, look, right? When a, when a, when a spirit becomes aware, they know how to utilize that awareness, that other spirits don't know how to utilize. So here's the thing. When it's intent. Intent is your vibration. Your frequency vibration. Intent is like your direction. What do you mean? So when I be telling y'all be praying, stop praying because that's a predator. So when y'all be praying to the government, that's the same way y'all pray to the spiritual government. It's the same thing. Y'all pray Y'all pray for $20. Y'all pray for good health. Same way on a news channel, y'all praying or y'all waiting for Donald Trump to tell y'all when y'all could come back outside. So for the most part, they're not going to give you what you want. They're going to give you what in, what the intent behind it. They see that you like suffering. See what I'm saying? That's how the universe and spirits look at it. Oh, you want, well, I don't know what $20 is, but this person needs more of that energy. So it gets filtered through down here. You just being a dumb, deaf, blind sheep in a cow. And you, you going to continue going through situations where you need $20. See what I'm saying? Do you get it? It ain't that you're going to get $20. You're going to get more situations that you feel the necessary need that you need $20. The moment that you start to feel like, thank you for giving me this $20, and you're really in that emotion, even if you don't got it, it's going to look at it like that. Like, oh, this person must like that energy. Let me keep giving them this energy. Then before you know it, you'll never need $20. You see what I'm saying? But 
That's the same thing that y'all do with the government. So look, it's an intent behind it. So think about their intent right now. They're trying to create this new world for 2030 and shit like that, which it ain't really got nothing to do with the coronavirus or 5G. All The 5G can affect you, and you need to always remember a virus ain't real. Listen, uh, anytime anybody, I don't care if they look like a... They look like you, they jailbirds, or, or they look like nurses or whatever. You got to read between the lines. It's, it's certain people out here that's truthful, but read, read between the lines. The moment that they start talking about the, a virus like it's actually real, or they're talking about it like a virus is serious in some way, shape, or form, cut the video off. They're rocking you to sleep. That is the government. If, if it's a person talking to you like the virus, like a virus, this virus, coronavirus, ain't that serious, but they still talking about it like... Uh, they rock to sleep a little bit, but they're sl slowly waking up. But if a person is truly dis disregarding a virus in general, that's who you listen to. Now, therefore, there's no way they can rock you to sleep on any kind of level. You can't be afraid on any kind of level at that point for them to come to rock you to sleep. Now, here's the thing. It's an intent behind it. Now, you can do this. With, this was what Tesla was doing by, by accident. But you could do this. Everybody can do this. This ain't nothing... See what I'm saying? This, this is even how the constellation derives from a spiritual travel and it's 12 constellations. So when y'all be trying to add 13, it don't make sense. That's a constellation from somewhere else making itself a part of our 360. And this is where Vedic and Western astrologers get lost under their lords because they, they, they don't understand that they don't understand that they're following lost stars because you a star. Stars going to move through houses. But at the same time, uh, to know where you to know where you're going, you have to know where you came from. So it's all about the space that you are in. And I let you know that the spirit create the light. So the space create the energy. So the house create the chakra, the planet, the constellations. So once the, once the house create the planet, once the planet create the night and day versions of the constellations, those go, go on ahead and move throughout the houses. But what, what, what birth the lights, the houses. So before you say, oh, we got to follow the real houses that, I mean, follow the real planets. I mean, follow the real constellations. That's when you get lost and you start getting lost into infinite regress or fucus. The next constellation that make itself a part of our 360, 12, uh, 12 houses, you'll start to say that's something else. Then we have a thousand different astro astrologies and all that. And then for the most part, Archangel Uriel have to come in this time. See what I'm saying? But like I'm telling y'all, it's an intent. So they're, they're up here with a certain intent based upon their business model. So when they start to kick certain numbers that equate to 369, that's letting you know that they're creating a substance for their in, for whatever that they intend to do. Now, that's what I don't know, their true intentions. But whatever that they intend to do, um, it's going to work by default. Everybody's going to fall short because everybody live up under the frequency vibrations that they have planted here for y'all anyway. Like that's in the ones and twos, the fours, the fours and fives, the, the, uh, the sevens and eights. You know what I'm saying? The masculine feminines on each scale. They got y'all lost in those and shit like that. So instead of y'all want to be true individual spirits, y'all want to be an individual in, into these sports and attributes that they give y'all out here. Instead of y'all want to be relatable to your spirit, they got you want to be relatable and give all your love to the world. So they created that Pontius Pilate and Jesus story and shit like that and how Jesus get lost in love and Dalmatian. You understand? Instead of you being uh, under, worrying about your surroundings, they let you. They trying to make you feel like you need to worry about your surroundings by uh, by them taking care of your surroundings and you sitting in the house and not being aware of your surroundings. That's them utilizing and three against you four instead of you having given names and titles to the things that's around you they give you names and titles they they tell you that's called the sun they tell you that's called jesus they tell you that's called helios they tell you that's called um um apollo they tell you that's called raw they tell you that they, you can't come out and be like that's me that's him they they you don't understand it from that concept you know what i'm saying that's i you you just don't understand it from that concept and it's, that's the natural vibration of it. So if you always went out and looked at the sun like that, you will always understood that was your solar plexus. You will always understood that's me. That's I'm. That's him. So you will always understand that's your masculine energy. The moment they get you, the moment they you got lost into them allowing you to think they turned star man into a man, right? And now, now you think it's a man, or now you think it's, it's something. You think it's some some scientifico. Now it, it's something that we all created. That's all of our individuals. Uh, how we participate in that as spirits together that created a numino and now we're up under a being with the same kind of system do you get it it's like an up and down type loopity loop inside out type thing i'm, I'm, I'm gonna go a little deeper into this but i just want you to let y'all know it's an intent so they try to they utilize y'all up under shit and they govern y'all with they 369 shit you know what i'm saying so you know fox news all that shit 
you all that shit is Jamachia. All that shit they utilize Jamachia and, and remix the codes the way they remix the codes. You know what I'm saying? If you would have been noon going out the side and been noon saying the moon noon, you know it's noon time. So you know when the when the sun, when I'm at the highest, I'm noon. So I'm noon. So you you come up with native tongues and shit like that. I'm ascending right now. So that's a spiritual thing. This is getting into the concept of how we create pyramids and shit like that. I, I can't wait till I get to y'all. But look, like I said, I've been talking about this for eons. Um, It's a based upon the intent, the vibration behind it, behind the word. Don't even listen to no Jewish people and shit like that with Jamatria because they're going to have you uh keep manifesting their Abrahamic God. You know what I'm saying? You, and you need to know that it's spirits that can't even come back here. That's really your ancestor. That's really what you want to call God. But it's really just a spirit in your favor. A space that'll really help you and see some shit. Can't even come here because of the layering and the spheres we have created. We created, spheres is created off intent and feelings and emotions and thought forms. We're directed in, in an area of some other government and shit like that. So a lot of spirits that want to come help you can't even come in your life and help you because you're ruled by some other lord and government and shit. And every time these spirits and ancestors try to come to you, you're blocked through fears. Spheres of this world that's ran by shit that just by you getting up and thinking that you want to live your day to day good, you're doing certain shit that your government and this, the lords and the Abrahamic guys then did down here with native tongues to shield you from from finding real ways to do that shit. So I'm saying that's why it's easy for me to have a totally different idea than everybody down here, but still be talking about what y'all talking about. See what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's based upon frequency vibrations you be riding. Don't be listening to nobody out here talking about Allah and getting back to nature and all that goddamn shit. People don't know what the fuck they talking about. Only time you, when, when you go in, that's a vacation. When you going back to nature or in between the tropics or something, that's a vacation going back to your primitive stage. When you was in vehicles before you was in this kind of vehicle. Now this vehicle created mentalities, chakras that manifested into brains, hearts. Your actual brain and shit like that, that, that's the masculine version of your minds. Your minds is your mentalities, your chakras, your intents, your motive, your motives, your, you see what I'm saying? Your solar system. So for the most part, uh, when, when we, when we, we in one that can sustain itself more separate now, you see what I'm saying? But you have a bunch of individuals, y'all government that's teaching y'all how to do this in a demonic way. So now you have to, you have to lean and depend on your creations. So you forgot you as the creator and you're leaning and dependent on your creation. So you're, they're going to plug you up and, and make you do telekinesis like this, teleportation like this, instead of us actually being able to teleport with our spirits, aka being able to create a shape and form that look physical like this, but to kill it on instant and create a shape and form where, where you at, like, like I didn't die, but actually this vehicle did die, like we, we practice dying, but we know what our spirit's doing, and we know how to create a shape of, that's why I said, you motherfuckers, I, I, I dare you to try to snipe me. I dare you, you, you can't do me like Michael Max or nobody, I dare, look, to be, to be with the spirit is to be absent from the body, and I know how to be aware, that, see, that's the thing, is, listen, wait, wait till I get power, us as a soul group, it's, once we come together with our charge, they're not gonna be able to do shit even if they try, cause the sphere is gonna be too thick, you see what I'm saying? Real shit. Real shit. Flight, but let me, I, I, I gotta, look, I'm just now getting to the flight cave, y'all, so I'm about to go wash my ass real quick. I ain't even get on social media or nothing like that, so I'm about to get on social media before I chop it up with y'all, because I'm going live to break down uh, Venus and Gemini for everybody right now. Venus and punk ass, uh, Donald's Trump sign. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So we got we got to go in and shit like that. And then later on tonight, you know what I'm saying? Based upon if I see a whole bunch of reverse psychology shit, we going live on these motherfuckers again. Because uh, right now, we, we getting to a point where they casting spells on us. So now it's time for us to start casting spells on them. But see, y'all might not know how to cast a spell. So that's what I'm here for. So that's what the fuck we going to do. A lot of that shit y'all be watching from witches and shit like that, yeah, they lead y'all to having blood on y'all hands. Y'all ain't doing nothing but casting spells on y'all damn self. That's why I never, never, never... um cast death on nobody, never say you need to die or whatever like that, unless it's a person doing this to you, and you got Donald Trump and them, they, all these people doing this to you, they, they're saying, we're, per, we're predicting, and we're counting on, this many people is going to die, 
if we don't do this. And then the number and the numerology behind it and the gematria is like, oh, so this is how many people they plan on killing. And if they don't kill it, this is going to make them, uh, if they don't kill this amount of people, this is uh, the amount of vaccines that they're going to need for that particular city or state. Oh, y'all motherfuckers think y'all slick, huh? <laughs> oh, I got some for y'all ass. All right, let's get it.